previously on Hack. Was he a good cop? Best. Except for that little lapse. You brought disgrace to yourself and your family. They took a bullet in the shoulder for this city. What else you take? You skimmed four thousand dollars off an inventory of seized cash. Can't talk your way out of this one, Michael. Michael, I really screwed up. When you were young, you were so full of ideals. Not gonna be like our fathers. Then I see in the news you became this disgraced cop. You became the person you said you'd never be. It's my first offense. It's final. He's taking it to trial. Weissman's just not gonna let a dirty cop walk. the trap off oh hey please don't get you squat okay you say please when you went into business for yourself you say please when you sold out the only guy that ever treated you right well, I told you it won't happen again look, I promise correct Freddy it won't happen again definitely not I'm begging you man. Freddy you're better off out of your misery okay it's a crap Hold him up. Feed his ass to the river rats. Trevor shot Freddie Trout. Shot him in the heart and in the head. Had his boys dump him in the river. No one's even gonna notice he's gone. Anybody see you, Tammy? You think I'd be here if they did? So you're cool. You don't need me. You could arrest Trepov. I think that crack is eating up what little was left of your brain. He killed him in cold blood. You arrest him, or we both get out from under. And I, I make the arrest and his lawyer springs him before he can say, I got Marcellus Washington on tape giving dope to his junkie snitch. And while I'm getting locked up, you're getting killed. <laughs> Stop dreaming, Tammy. You gotta help me. I gotta kill you, my damn self. You set me up. You wore wire so Trepov could get me in his pocket. I got no reason to help you. He forced me too much. You were my confidential informant and you boned me for a few rocks. Look, I saw him kill Freddy. And who's gonna find Freddy, huh? And who's gonna believe your wasted junky ass? For once in your life, forget what you saw. Forget it ever happened. And while you're at it, forget you know me too. Mike, your trial starts next week. You don't have much time. It just seems like you always have to do things the hard way. So you'd have me take the easy route? No, I think you should tell the truth. You think that's what they're after, the truth? Michael, eight grand missing. They found four on you. It doesn't take a psychic to find the other four. I'm not gonna help the DA ruin someone else's life. I just can't. Because of some stupid macho code? It's not stupid. I owe my life to my partner. I'm not gonna hang him out to dry. Mm. Better your son has a father who's in jail. You don't turn on your partner. Hey, look. I... I appreciate your loyalty to Marcellus. But if he's dirty... If he's dirty and you let your son go to protect him...
Come on, Mike, the DA is reaching. Well, these dealers are ready to testify that we stole from them. And, and you got your drawers in a bunch over there? It's an old trick, Mike. Have your lawyer find out what they're getting to testify, and once these clowns sniff a perjury beef, the story they've been rehearsing gets real hazy. So I can be sure that this is just a story. I'm looking at jail time here, Marcel. You asking me what I think you're asking me? A simple yes or no will do. Mike, who the hell has been talking to you? It's divide and conquer. That's what they're doing here. Sweat you to get to me. You didn't answer the question. OK, answer mine. You really think I took money behind your back? I don't know, and I need to know. So stop playing me, all right? You know, I've had to hide a lot of stuff from people real close to me, but I have never screwed over my partner. You always knew that. So know it now. The DA's people have talked to me four times. If I was going to give you up, I would have done it already. Relax. Nobody knows nothing. Except the four grand I took. It's Washington. Yeah? Okay, where? Be there. In 10. I gotta go. Day job. Phillips is the guy we got the warrant on. He's a big, bald, white guy, OK? Remember, he's a killer. Let's do it. Police, we warrant! Shut up. Let's go. Oh, hey, sugar. Sugar? OK, I got your sugar. Go, cut one of these guys. I'll have to get your sugar. Come on in here. What the hell are you doing here? What the hell you think? Are hey, you going to let me skate on this one, right, sugar? Too much company out there. What they going to do, tattle on you? Just tell them I'm your CI. Well, wash. People know I already cut you loose. So what am I supposed to do? I'm on probation. Stop smoking that crack. And lawyer up. How am I supposed to do that? You can get a PD. Sorry, Tammy. It's too much heat on me right now. Besides, jail may be the safest place for you right now. Favorite ex-cop. What's happening? You scared. Yeah, what's happening? Lean against that hunk of tin, pissing your life away. Where it is with brothers in that regard. Where it is, you're about to perjure yourself at my trial. <sighs> Once I put my hand on the good book, it's the whole truth and nothing but. The truth being, I skimmed off your bust. Never said that. Your partner skimmed, and you know it. And what y'all did in the back is between y'all. Washington never took money off you. You a chump, man. Your partner scammed everybody. Names. Pluta, Keeler, Jones, Duke. Want me to keep going? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Everybody thought you were in on it. And you're the one who got caught. <laughs> you are a chump. Like a, like a world-class chump. <laughs> <laughs> a headache? That and a couple other things. It's okay. If it was you, I'd have a killer migraine. This low-rent dealer, he, he laughed in my face. He said my partner stole from everybody, and they all think I did, too. 
I did a lot of other things, but I didn't do that. I mean, I got this one beef to deal with, but... What are you saying? It didn't happen. What about your partner? I didn't think I'd be saying this, but I'm not so sure. Did you ask him? Uh -huh. He didn't give me a straight answer. Hmm. Everybody's putting on pressure. It's making me nuts. It's up to you. Thanks. Tammy Anderson? UIAB? I'm Riley. Dow. What you got? Can you get me out of here? If it's good. It's good. It's about a cop. A dirty one. Like he's paying CIs with drugs he skims off his bus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is, is this rumor or is this news? It's news. I was a CI. And look, you get me out of here, I'll prove it to you. I guess you're jonesing a little bit, huh, Tammy? <laughs> the cop is Marcellus Washington. I quit. Bettina, why don't you take a breath and uh, tell me what's going on? I got an irate call from the DA. You intimidated a prosecution witness. Skeeter said that. All I did was talk to the guy. You can't do that, Mike. Are you trying to go to jail? Look, I'm just wasting your money. Any FOP lawyer fresh out of law school could lose this case. Why pay for it? Oh, come on, Bettina. Don't give up on me. Goodbye, Mike. I'd wish you luck, but I don't think you want it. Look, I'm sorry. All right, I should have asked you before talking to Skeets, okay? You, you shouldn't have talked to him at all. I had to ask him about Washington. He was this far away from being indicted himself. My ex-boyfriend's a cop, gave me a heads up. You know some CI named Tammy Anderson? Yeah. She fingered Washington to IAB, some illegal drug charge. I gotta talk to her. I, as your attorney, I'm advising you not to do that. So you're not quitting after all. It's good news. How can you do this to another cop? I had our call, Mrs. Washington. Oh, Marcellus. What the hell, Riley? Signed by a judge and everything. You got to toss the plates? You know the drill. Hey, I never busted another cop. That was my grandmother's. It might be better if you get her out of here. Yeah, I know you're upset, but uh, you're not helping things, OK? We don't deserve this, you understand me? Just take it easy, OK? Take it easy. Where's Ashton? Hey, little man. Oh! Don't you be scared, huh? They're not going to hurt you. Yeah, yeah. Mommy said they think you took something that wasn't yours. Tell them you're a policeman, Daddy. He wouldn't do anything bad. Yeah, good police work, Columbo. I stashed it in my son's scooter. Let me see it, son. Stuffed animal, please. all of this, Marcellus. I hope it was worth it. Chris. 
What's up? Hey, come on, I know you hold it. Come on, man. Hey, look, I'm good for it, all right? What, what do you want? Is that anyone to greet an old friend, Tim? I'm not your snitch no more. Check that. What do you hear about Washington on the street? Nothing. I heard he's into some dark stuff. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. Come on. You're a source. You know what he's up to. I don't know anything. What's wrong? Look, I'm not looking to get killed, all right? Oh, what? Why should talk about Washington and get you killed? Ask him. I'm asking you. Your partner's in over his head, Olshansky. That's all you get. Tell me, just tell me, tell me. So you heard about what's going down? Yeah. Come on, word of a junkie. Who's gonna believe it? It's kind of fun watching you sweat, though. If I go away, it's bad for both of us. Nobody's going away. You gonna guarantee that? You're making this my problem. A lot of bad things could happen. No way to protect your dealers, your houses, your back rooms. Someone might even tie you to a drug shipment. Blackmailing the blackmailer. I gotta love it. If I go down for giving Tammy drugs, I might as well roll. Give myself a reduced sentence. And if I get Tammy off the hook? She's happy. She recants. Everybody stays in the game. OK. Hey, Washington. I was in your shoes. I'd have made the same move. Put the pressure on me. So? So. We're not so different. You better pray we're different. Look what just came today. A subpoena, Michael, for our son. Now, why would the DA do that? Mikey doesn't know anything. This is not gonna happen. How are you gonna stop it? I don't know, I'm gonna talk to Batia. I already did that. You talked to my lawyer? Yeah, I couldn't find you. She says there's no father-son privilege. Well, I'll talk to the DA. Michael, you are not listening. There is only one way to stop this. You pick up the phone and you make a deal. I want my son protected. Our son. Where are you going? To see Mikey. Explain to explain, him. Explain what? That your partner means more to you than he does? No. Are you going to make that call? Not yet. When? I don't know. I want to see Michael. I want to see if he's OK. I will tell you how he is. He is scared. Will you move? No. I'm his father. Mom, what's going on? Well, then you better start acting like it. I'm gonna make this right. I swear. Mom? I'll be right there, honey. Hey, Lanny. Hold on. We shouldn't be talking without your lawyer. Screw my lawyer. This is between us. Look, I'm doing court. Why are you calling my son? He's 10. He doesn't know anything. He's a potential witness, Oshansky. My son doesn't know a damn thing. And he's scared enough as it is. You should have thought about that before you broke the law. Well, what do you... You're not even going to put him on a stand. You're just doing this to mess with me. Move. Before you say something that comes back to bite you in the ass. I'm not going to let you do this. You don't have any choice. I am warning you. Is you that a threat? Because I can add another felony to the list. Look, his life has been turned upside down. His home is falling apart. He knows I might be going to jail. Just let him off the hook. No. Here's something. You have no idea what you're doing to my son. You have no idea how much I'm going to hurt you. You hurt him. I'm going to come and find you. I'm going to hurt you worse. You got that? 
I'm gonna hurt you worse. Try calling Perez. Don't worry about it. Hey. I'll get it. You okay? Unless the DA changed his mind about questioning Mikey. That guy's a piece of crap. Hey, Mike, not here. Well, you think I care who hears me? Yeah, apparently not. You said worse to Landy's face. Yeah, I figured that when I got the call to bail you out. He's messing with my son. What do you expect me to do? Do you really think he's gonna back off just because you asked? Look, I lost my temper. Yeah, you get mad. Blow off steam with me. With Grizz, anybody but the guy who's trying to put you in jail. I'm trying to protect my family. I understand this no, is hard. No, you don't. To... You don't have kids. You have no idea what this is like. Thanks for spraying me. Anytime. Hey, hey, B, sure doesn't love its work. You are some kind of fool. Bringing up IAB after they trashed my house. I talked to Tammy. She freaked when I mentioned you. Said you were in over your head. Well, if a crack was said it, it must be true. I offered her money to tell me more. She wouldn't take it. Never seen a junkie do that before. She was scared. Sold me down the river to IAB, she should be scared. What's that mean? It means she's a disgruntled former employee who's trying to hang me out the dry and it's not gonna work. That's it? That's it. Heather, the uh, DA, my own lawyer, they're all squeezing me, saying you're dirty. Whatever you're into, I gotta know. Well, if you're not gonna believe my answers, better stop asking me questions. And get out of here before Deborah gets back with Ashton. They've had it hard enough. What are they here for? Yeah. Yeah. Cops tore apart Alley the Alligator. I bought that the day we brought Ashton home from the hospital. He, he was crying so hard. And, um, At least Landy didn't destroy any of Mikey's toys. He's calling Mike in for questioning. What? That bastard. How's Mikey doing? I haven't seen him. Had her through a fit. She won't let me near him. Well, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go over to St. Vic's and I'm gonna try and see him. Sneaking around so I can talk to my own son. Good luck. I swear to you, Mike. I never thought he'd come down to this. These jokers going after our kids to get to us. We never should open the door. I'll talk to her about it later. She was real quiet last night. Said I had to talk to this lawyer, even if I didn't want to. She's right. I'm so sorry you got to do this. What are they going to ask me? Oh, questions about when I was a cop, about taking the money. I don't know anything. I know. Well, what, what should I say? Tell me what to say. Be strong, tell the truth. It'll be okay. 
Was it true what they're saying? That you took the money? Oh, Mike. I can't talk about this now. The trial's coming up. And this lawyer, he's gonna... You know, he's gonna ask you all sorts of questions. I won't tell him, Dad, I promise. See, it's just, it's not a good idea. When the trial's over, then... Don't you trust me? Of course I do. Gotta go, my friends are waiting. Michael. So what do you want from me, Tammy? Hey, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I had to get out that cell. I was starting to get the quakes. Well, apology accepted. Look, so I'm going to tell those uh, internal affairs guys that I was lying. You know, I said I made all that stuff up because I needed drugs. Well, you set the record straight. I'd be very appreciative. How about some of that appreciation right now? <laughs> and my cell is coming on, huh? I'm sick. Zycam and Echinacea, wife swears by it. Okay, all right, all right, all right, just, just a little, all right? Just enough to get me by, okay, I'm hurting. You asked me for drugs? You have me mistaken for someone else. Hey man, hook me up, you did this before. Come on, Marcellus, I know you hold it. I don't recall ever giving you anything but the department's agreed upon restitution. Cash for flash. Jeez, come on, man. The streets are wicked. There's undercovers crawling all over the place. Look, I know you have some. Just give it to Look, I need... What you need is to stop flapping your gums and get your head straight. Or these wicked streets are gonna eat you up. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. How long has it been since your last confession? 25 years, at least. Mike? That you? What are you doing? Confessing. Mike. This is for real. Father. We could do this somewhere else if you'd feel more comfortable. I want to do this right. I hurt my son. I hurt a lot of people, but him the worst. Go on. Well, he's already going to go through hell for me, and Mike, he asks. He asked me to tell him the truth. What about? Well, about what I've done, who I am, about um, taking the money, and I said no. You want to tell me? I've thought about that day so many times, I go over and over it. Looking for what was different. You know, why that bust? You know, all this time, I still don't know. It's just a day, like any other. You know, got out, kissed Heather and Mike, and went to work. All of a sudden, I just had it. I'm so sick of the bottom feeders trying to take me out. I only get so many close calls. And it's Megan. He might have used up my last one. Drop the gun! Thinks he's a tough guy. I'm thinking to myself, you want to see tough? 
I'll show you tough. You think you're bad? I'm way better than you. I'm aside. Are you Mr. Johnny on the spot? Got a radio call. I was in the area. <laughs> yeah, I bet you were. The body's still warm. Oh, man. You know anything about this, Washington? Trying to hang this on me? No, oh, but you did have a beef with her, right? That doesn't mean I killed her. Sure. Come on, you can tell us all about it. What, you gonna cuff me too? No, 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 just a uh, friendly Q&A among colleagues. serve you up to IAV like that. I did not kill Tammy. Where were you last night? Huh? Between eight and nine. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Nobody's yeah. laughing here. You got a witness puts me at Tammy's? You got motive. You got nothing. Well, shots were heard fired at 8.40. Where were you? It's a waste of time. I was with the street source, Zeke Shepard. Parked across the street from the Latham. 8 to 9 p.m., Shepard hangs at the Red Arrow. Anything else? I didn't think so. Look at it this way. You probably never slept with a jailbird before. Funny. What'd Mikey want? He wants me to go with him when he talks to the DA. Doesn't understand why I can't. Wants to please you. Oh, well, what do I know? I don't have kids. I really feel bad about that face. That's nice. Don't even think about it. What? 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 Yeah. Well, where there's smoke, there's you, Merciless.
They found one of my old informants in an empty lot. Bullet to the head. Mm. Sorry, Mike. They're looking at Marcellus for it. They think he did it? Says he didn't. You believe him? He couldn't be lying to me about this. Do you think he's lying about the money? I don't know. Deborah. Small talks why you call me down here? No, there's something else. I don't want to talk about that, man. I'm not asking you. I don't know what happened there. Yes, Alice. What you know, what you don't know, that's your business. And now I got bigger troubles. I gotta ask you a favor. I need nine grand. Because there's witnesses to came forward. My lawyer says she needs to hire an investigator. I don't have that kind of cash laying around. Can you take a loan against your pension? Deborah would kill me. What about Alder? What little she's got, she might need if I go to jail. And my dad's estate had barely covered the funeral expenses, and if I had my pension, Please help me out. You ever think we get to a place where we didn't know whether we could trust each other? Is this for real? Can you just put aside the crap that's going on between us and as my friend? See what I can do. Thank you.
you said you didn't have that kind of cash lying around. And you said as a friend. Oh, man. I really didn't want to believe this. Well, let's skip the whole other now. How long have you been skimming? Just take the money. How much you snagged when we were together? I thought we were putting our past crap behind us. Do me a favor, friend. Just take the money, hire your investigator. Okay? There's no investigator. Anything for a buck. Back off. <clears throat> I'm gonna lose my kid. I'm gonna lose my kid because of you. Suck. So do you. It started when I found out Deborah was pregnant. The Gerard bust. Figured it's just a few hundred bucks. Then at the next bust, I'd snag a few hundred more. And uh, it got away from me. <laughs> My grandmother lived here. Who's back there? Away from the street. Fights. Gangs. I swore if I ever had a family, it'd never be like this for them. You're right. <laughs> I'd do anything for a buck. Tell me about Tammy. I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? Yesterday. Maybe. Today. <laughs> <laughs> 